Hello, and welcome to this week's special presentation. My name is Patrick France, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest, and today I'm going to show you how to get rich with VectorVest. Everyone knows that to make money in the market, you need to buy low and sell high. But to do that, you need the right tools and information to be successful in it. Only VectorVest provides you with information that can't be found anywhere else to help you achieve those goals. Today we'll be taking a look at how to find and utilize that information to make your investing easier and faster than ever before. So with that, let's jump right into the software. We here at VectorVest believe everything starts with market timing. As an individual investor, you need to know whether today is a good day or not a good day to buy stocks. Therefore, we put it right at the top center of the homepage each and every day for you to give clear, concise guidance. As you can see right now, VectorVest advocates caution when buying stocks at this time. Contrary to popular belief, not every day is a good day to buy stocks. Here at VectorVest, we'll make sure you're always aware of when you have the highest probability of success when buying a stock. VectorVest is also unique in the sense that we give a buy, hold, and sell rating on each stock every day. Also, we provide almost 8,500 stocks with a stop price each and every day, something you won't find anywhere else. We believe in buying rising stocks in rising markets and selling falling stocks in falling markets. But how do you know if the markets are rising? Well, here at VectorVest, we make it simple by putting it front and center each and every day. Once we know the markets are rising and it's a good time to be buying stocks, we make finding the right stocks a breeze. Simply choose the Viewers tab at the top of the screen. And a great place to start is the Stock Viewer on the left-hand side. Here you'll find a daily list of our highest VST-rated stocks. VST stands for Value, Safety, and Timing, and we'll get to that in just a moment. Every day, VectorVest provides you clear, concise information and not scads of data that could take you hours on your own to decipher. Starting off at the very beginning, we start off with the company's name, the symbol, the exchange, the current price of the stock, the dollar change of the stock, percent price change, you know, information that you can typically find anywhere else. But after the percent price change, we then come to the value column, and this is where you really start to see the power of VectorVest shine. This is where we start to take over and do the heavy lifting for you by taking all the data out there about each stock every day and simplifying it into easy to understand information to help you make a more informed and quicker decision than ever before. Now starting off with the value, this is what we currently feel the stock is worth each and every day. The way we utilize the value is by comparing the price of the stock to its value. If the current price of the stock is over the value, we would consider that stock to be overvalued. If the price is under its value, we would consider that to be undervalued. After the value, the next four indicators are all going to be cast on scales of 0 to 2. To keep it simple, above 1 is favorable, below 1 is unfavorable. Starting off with the relative value or RV, this shows the long-term price appreciation potential of a stock over the next one to three years compared to a AAA corporate bond. If it's above one, we expect to see this stock outperform a AAA corporate bond, below one, underperform a AAA corporate bond. Then we get the RS or relative safety, and this is the consistency and predictability of a company's financial performance. But to keep it simple, it's an indicator of risk. If the RS is above 1, that shows the stock is safer than the average stock in a database. Below 1 shows that there's more risk involved with this stock. And then after the RS, we get the RT or the relative timing. Here's where you can find the short-term price trend of the stock each and every day. Consider this to be more of a technical indicator, since it not only shows if a stock is moving higher or lower, but also the momentum of that move. Once again, since it's cast on a scale of 0 to 2, Above 1, the closer to 2 it is, the stronger the uptrend. Below 1, the closer to 0 it is, the stronger the downtrend. And then all three of these indicators, the relative value, relative safety, and relative timing are combined each and every day to give you an overall picture of the stock on both a fundamental and a technical basis. And then as we mentioned earlier, we give a buy, hold, and sell rating on each stock every day as well. That can be found in the recommendation column. And after the ratings, we then get that stop price, which as we mentioned earlier, is something you can't find anywhere else. VectorVest is the only place out there that provides a stop price on each stock every day. Now the stop price we would consider to be our final line in the sand. And with any type of line in the sand, you could obviously get out earlier, 
but we feel this is a nice security blanket that if you're still sticking around in a stock as it reaches this point, you either need to sell now or hold your own risk. Now, if you're new to VectorVest and not familiar with all these indicators, we have a saying here, and that's when in doubt, right click. So if we right click on the very top stock, EHTH, the second option we'll always see is view full stock analysis report. If I click on that to pull it up, here's where you'll find a detailed description of that stock we just chose. You can pull up a full stock analysis report on any one of the almost 8,500 stocks that we're currently tracking. At the top, you'll get a quick description of what the company does. Below that, you'll get a quick summary, and then you'll get a breakdown of each one of our indicators, such as the definition, what type of data we look at when coming up with that indicator, and if that indicator is cast on a certain scaling, how it fares on that scaling. We like to consider this a cheat sheet and highly recommend any individual to print one of these off to keep on their desk as a great reference sheet. But for now, we'll simply click on the X in the upper right to exit the stock analysis report and go back to the stock viewer. And now that we've covered how to understand this information, I want to demonstrate how easy it can be to analyze any stock in less than 10 seconds. Let's go down to the next stock in the list, GOL, and we'll use this as our example for today. So as we can see, the price is up slightly. Right now, the stock is slightly overvalued, but it has great long-term potential, a little bit extra risk in it, but it's a high momentum play right now. So overall, the stock is favorable, therefore it has a buy rating. And just like that, we have all the information that we need to make an informed, educated decision on any stock, anytime. Now, when it comes down to answering that question of what I should be buying, as we all know, every investor is different. Every investor has different needs, wants, and risk tolerance in the market. We at VectorVest strive to help our subscribers understand their own personal investment style to help them become even more successful in the market. To help understand your investment style, we strongly urge you to take a look at the views and opening up the views manager on the left hand side of the screen, you get an option for special reports. And in the special reports, there's one specifically that we would like to highlight today, and that's the strategic investment matrix. This is where we show you how to quantify the nature of your actual investing, so that way you can make sure it matches up with your own investing goals. If we scroll down, we can see we get four styles of investing. Prudent, aggressive, conservative, and speculative. We identify a prudent investor as somebody that's looking for lower risk, but still wants that high reward. This would be considered the best of both worlds. So therefore we'd be favoring stocks with an RS score above one, as well as an RV score above one. Now, if you're somebody that's more aggressive, you still want that high reward, but willing to accept more risk to get that reward. So therefore you're still putting an emphasis on a relative value or RV above one, but willing to accept a stock with the RS score below one. Kind of like that GOL we just looked at. Now, if you're an investor that's more focused on capital preservation than capital appreciation, such as somebody who's looking for more consistent dividends, then we would focus on a conservative style of investing. There, as a conservative investor, your main focus is low risk. And since your focus is going to be more on capital preservation, you would give less emphasis to the relative value. So you may be willing to accept stocks with a relative value below one, as long as they have a high relative safety score. Now, if you're an investor that considers himself to be a gambler and like to trade on the hype or rumor of a stock, that's where we would classify you as a speculative investor. Somebody that's not worried about fundamentals or long-term potential of the stock, they're more worried about price action and volatility. If you would consider yourself to be this style of investor, then we're not worried about the relative safety or relative value being above one. We're simply just looking for a strong RT. No matter what your style of investing is, VectorVest has you covered. And now that we know this information, we need to know how we can quickly identify whether or not the stocks that we're holding match up to what our desired investment style is. A simple exercise that we do here at VectorVest is build a watch list. And this can give us a plethora of information to make sure that our actual style of investing is matching up with our perceived style of investing. To build that watch list, we'll simply go back to the viewer screen at the top. And over on the left hand side, we have the watch list section. 
I've already gone ahead earlier and created the folder for this week's strategy of the week. So I'll simply click on it to highlight it, right click and choose new watch list. Then I'll give it a name and click on add. And at the top of the blank screen is where you can add your symbols. I'll just go ahead and throw in a few symbols today, but this is where as an individual, you throw in your own stocks that you own. If you're not currently holding any stocks, then throw stocks in here that you've used to own or you may have just recently sold. Once you've entered your current portfolio, you'll notice that VectorVest automatically ranks your stocks to bring the best to the top and the worst to the bottom. But one feature that's commonly overlooked is below that, the watch list average. This is where you can get a breakdown of what style of investing your portfolio really fits under. As we take a look, we can see the relative value or the RV is above one, the relative safety is below one. So if we go back to the views to look at the matrix, we can see relative value is above one, relative safety below one. Therefore, that would classify our portfolio as an aggressive portfolio. Being an instructor here at VectorVest, I've talked to thousands of people over the years, and one of the main questions I always ask them is what type of investor they are. And what I typically find is that the answer they give me doesn't match the types of stocks that they buy. So let's go back to that example in the viewers tab. And let's say this was somebody's portfolio and when I asked them what style of investor they were, they told me they were a conservative investor. Well, we can quickly and easily identify that this is more of an aggressive portfolio. And owning a portfolio of stocks that don't align with what you want your investment style to be can be one of the biggest frustrations to an individual investor. Knowing this kind of information can help you make informed decisions on where to trim the fat on your portfolio so that way you can free up cash and invest it into stocks that match your investment style and investment goals. And lastly, the simplest and easiest place to go to find stocks that you'd be interested in reinvesting your recently freed up cash back into the market is the stock viewer that we started on originally. And to go along with our example, our goal was to make our portfolio more conservative rather than the aggressiveness that we saw from it. So, a simple trick is resorting the stock viewer by RS. Once again, as a conservative investor, your main focus is safety. The RS indicator identifies exactly that. The stocks with the highest RS are the stocks with the least amount of risk. But if you're not a conservative investor, you could simply use the stock viewer by its default sort of VST. If you're looking for more momentum, on the left hand side at the top of the watch list screen, you have the cherry picking folder and Midas touch stocks. These are great to find high momentum candidates. And now as well, if you're somebody who likes to trade hot stocks right now, every single night in the daily color guard report found on the homepage and the strategy box here, we give you a list of what stocks we feel are the hottest right now. So if that sounds like you and you like getting into hot stocks, make sure to tune into the Daily Color Guard Report each and every night. Once again, thank you for your time today. And if you have any questions on anything that we've covered here in today's presentation, just give our support a call and they'd be glad to help you out. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the software or would like refresher information about the software, click on this Getting Started video right here. Thanks to all of your input, here's a YouTube video that we think would be perfect for you. Click right here. If nothing else, folks, just hit the subscribe button right here.